Hi friends, let's talk about cholidocolithiasis in short. Cholidocolithiasis means CBD stone. So first of all, where is the origin of this CBD stone? Most of the time, this CBD stone will comes from the gallbladder. That is why it is also known as secondary stone. So most of the time, CBD stone will be secondary to a gallbladder stone. In 5% to 10% of the cases, you can come across stones which forms directly into the CBD and that is known as a primary CBD stone. But actually this is rare and this is found in some special circumstances like when there is a foreign body inside the CBD and when there is a, an infectious agent present inside the CBD which converts conjugated bilirubin into an unconjugated bilirubin. This type of a stone is also known as brown pigment stone. So now coming to the CBD stone, what is the presentation? The presentation may be, it may be totally asymptomatic. So how do you know if it, if it is a CBD stone when it is asymptomatic? Most of the time when you do an ultrasound for cholelithiasis, you may come across a patient with a dilated CBD. So when you find a dilated CBD in a patient of cholelithiasis, you should suspect CBD stone. When in a patient of cholelithiasis, you find raised alkaline phosphatase, raised gamma GT or raised direct bilirubin, that is raised conjugated bilirubin, you should suspect cholelithiasis. So these are the asymptomatic stones. Then let us come to the symptomatic. Symptoms can be just only abdominal pain. Then the symptoms can be if it starts blocking the common bile duct, it will give rise to obstructive jaundice. Then if the infection takes place into this CBD, the patient may present to you with a clinical condition known as cholangitis that is inflammation of the CBD that is known as cholangitis. Traditionally, we tell that cholangitis presents with a triad that is known as Charcot's triad. This triad is pain, obstructive jaundice and fever. So when you come across this triad, you should make a diagnosis of cholangitis. Now, if the patient is more sick, like the, if the patient is more sick, the patient may go into sepsis, you may find two other things that is hypotension and altered mental state, status. So if you find these two findings, yani you find five things, obstructive jaundice, pain, fever, altered mental status and, sh and hypotension, then you say that this patient is having, uh, this, this patient is having Raynaud's pentad, that is that this pentad is of cholangitis. This is found in more serious conditions. Now, cholangitis is an emergency. Why it's an emergency? Because if you don't treat the patient in time, the patient may land up into, into septic shock. So you should admit these patients in cholangitis patient. Patients are sometimes in shock. So you have to manage as per ABC protocol. And then as uh, you start with IV fluids, nil by mouth, IV antibiotics, and then you have to arrange for urgent decompression of the CBD. So what is the urgent decompression of the CBD? How can you do it? How can you remove this obstruction? Earlier, people used to do the surgery, but nowadays we have a good option that is in the form of ERCP, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreaticography. Diagnose the CBD stone and at the same time, you can remove the CBD stone. So ERCP is diagnostic as well as therapeutic. So the best, best method to remove the CBD stone is actually an ERCP. So this, this, if this ERCP is not available, if the patient uh, is deteriorating, then there is no other way. You have to go for urgent surgery and you have to remove the CBD stone that is known as open cholidocotomy. Any, you have to open the CBD and remove the CBD stone. So this is the treatment of the CBD stone. Now, if you come across an asymptomatic CBD stone, what you should do? If you come across an asymptomatic CBD stone, like as I told you, with a gall stone, if you're finding a dilated CBD, you should rule, rule out CBD stone by either doing MRCP or at ERCP. The, what is the difference between MRCP and ERCP? MRCP is only diagnostic. It can tell you that there is a stone in the CBD. But to remove the stone, you have to again go for ERCP. So if the suspicions are very less, suspicions are not very high, you can go for an MRCP as it is only investigative and at the same time, it is not associated with complications like pancreatitis, cholangitis associated with ERCP. So to be on safer side, if the patient, if the suspicion is low, you should go for an MRCP. If the MRCP shows a stone, then you should go for an ERCP to remove the CBD stone. If the suspicions are very high, raised alkaline phosphatase, dilated CBD, CBD and a stone is visible, then you should go directly for an ERCP. So I hope this uh, short video will help you. Thank you very much.